From Drakengard to Nier, Yoko Taro's Strange Universe has gone unnoticed by the mainstream for quite a long period of time. This all changed when Square Enix collaborated with the ultra-talented Platinum Games and created Nier Automata, a game which, in my opinion, is the best JRPG of the generation and probably one of the most impactful games I've ever played. Since then, many newcomer fans have wanted to go back and experience the whole Taro gaming universe for themselves, something that has proved to be a challenge due to limited quantity and the required hardware to play these games. Not to mention that the gameplay is a little rough around the edges, and many newcomer fans have become accustomed to the liquid smooth experience that is Automata's gameplay. Near Replicant version 1.22 aims to resolve this issue by introducing a self-proclaimed upgrade to the game. And now, thanks to a recent interview from Bamitsu, we have some new details on both Near Replicant as well as the new upcoming mobile spin-off title, Near Incarnation. First of all, producer Yosuke Saito asked Yoko Taro to come up with the subtitle for this release of Near Replicant, despite Yoko Taro only wanting to tout this as a current generation port of the game. As for the name itself, the reason why he chose it was because the newly added elements aren't enough to make it a version 2, as well as another unstated reason. But granted, I don't think anyone doubted that Yoko Taro came up with the name, as well, he's pretty much the only one who could come up with something like this. Well, maybe other than this guy. He was also asked if the atmosphere of the original Nier will be maintained. Taro joked that it's actually the same as they didn't have any money left to change it. Taro notes that instead they have focused their efforts on the brand new content. It's also noteworthy that the game is not being developed internally by Square Enix or Platinum this time, but instead being developed by Toy Logic. That said, the development of the game's improved combat system is being advised by Platinum Games' Takahisa Taura, so that the gameplay will feel good for fans of Nier Automata. And trust me, if they can make this game feel anywhere near as good as Automata, I am going to love it. The music for Nier Replicant has been upgraded to have more live orchestral parts, and some tracks have been lengthened. The new content that Taro teased earlier also has new tracks composed for it, although recording has said to be affected by the current pandemic. I strongly hope this doesn't delay the game or impact its development schedule in any way though. Nier Reincarnation is a game that is still shrouded in a lot of mystery at the moment. It also appears to be quite a high production title for a mobile game, sporting some very nice 3D graphics and the usual amazing soundtrack from what we've heard so far. We also have some brand new details on how the game is shaping up as well. First and foremost, Yoko Taro is actually not the only writer working on Nier Reincarnation. Instead, the game is being written by around four different people. Yoko Taro then takes the ideas of the scenario writers and then comes up with an overall idea of how the plot will work. So Taro is still very much in control and it still is ultimately his story, but he's got a little bit of help at his side. As expected from any mobile title nowadays, the game will have gacha elements, with characters from other Nier games likely to appear during collaborations. With regards to the main character, Taro said it's difficult to explain if the girl is the protagonist of the game or not, as there will be many main characters. Producer Saito says, including battle, there are even more main characters. Although, how exactly the game's battle system will function is currently unknown. In terms of gameplay, you'll be playing through many stages in order to reach an end goal of the stage. It was also revealed that all the towers and dungeons that appear in the game are called cages. As fans have previously speculated, the sort of ghost-like being next to the young girl who will be an assistant character functioning somewhat similar to Grimoire Vice or Pod. Also, the young girl that they show looks a lot like Kaine, but apparently is not at least according to Yoko Taro in a previous interview, so figure that one out. And it's been confirmed that the game won't have any PvP elements, not like Nier needed anything like that anyways. Hopefully, we'll be able to play both of these games in the near future, and allow us to experience and re-experience Yoko Taro's works. But with all that said, Ultima Weapons, I want to know, are you excited to play Nier Replicant version 1.22 and Nier Reincarnation? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, be sure to check out the Patreon for the Night Sky print, where I'm supported by incredible people like Brandon Youngblood, who allow me to keep making all of these Nier, Final Fantasy, and other JRPG videos. So if that's something that you value, be sure to check the link in the description below. Shout out to Brandon and the rest of the Ultima community. Oh